Yeah, good day, Peter Charlton here, just on the road heading back to the Lilydale Early Voting Centre. I tell you what, this is hard. Um, you know, being an independent, I know I've got uh, uh, um, a few people, um, hopefully a lot of people helping me tomorrow, which I really appreciate. And obviously a lot of people that are um, sharing the post and liking the post and telling their family and friends and neighbours about me, I really appreciate that as well. Um, but the truth is, this is really hard. Because as a one-man band, in terms of I haven't got like a campaign manager or a campaign team, so I've got to get up at the crack of dawn to go and set up all my signs and um, and whatnot, and then shoot home, have a shower, and then uh, do uh, a couple of things, and um, and then head back and run around like a headless chook. But anyway, what I wanted to say is, um, whatever happens tomorrow, um, whether we win or whether we lose, I mean. The, um, the experts would say we're, uh, we're not going to win, um, but uh, I haven't given up, but even if we don't win, what this campaign is all about is progress, a step forward, and it does a couple of things. One thing that it does is it puts the major parties on notice that there are independents that will, you know, despite all the obstacles that they put in front of us independents, uh, it puts them on notice that we will, there are people out there that will have a crack at knocking them off and that helps to keep them, I suppose, a little bit more honest. They'll never be honest because that's just not what they do, but it makes them uh, think a little bit harder about what they're doing because they're not far from being extinct if they keep going the way they have been going. Um, but yeah, look, um, it's, it's difficult, so if anyone sent me messages or um, whether it be emails or things on Facebook and I haven't gotten back, it's not that I'm ignoring you, I'm just struggling to keep up. Um, this whole process has cost, it's cost me many, many thousands of dollars which I can't afford, um, but I'm doing it uh, because I feel I must, all right? As I said at the start of it, I don't fit the mold of a politician and that's because when I was growing up as a kid, I didn't dream of being a politician. I don't want to be a politician. But unfortunately, the representation that we have uh, up there in Canberra uh, is forcing me to make the, uh, the decision and the choice to run and to um, potentially become a politician. So, uh, you know, I might not be the, uh, the university graduate or the, uh, the, the one that's come up through the unions or come up through... Uh, you know, uh, working with the local council and, and then working as a staff and all that sort of crap. Uh, basically, I've learned my lessons as, um, as as most of you have, you know, just living life. So I like to think that I relate to most normal everyday people and um, keep that in mind uh, if you go and vote, if you haven't voted already, if you go and vote uh, today or tomorrow, keep that in mind that I believe I'm just like you. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I better end this video because it's already gone for um, three and a half minutes. This is authorised and spoken by Peter Charlton, independent candidate for Casey, 1927 Melbourne Highway, Dixon's Creek. All right, have a good weekend, everyone. Uh, let me know if you can help me out on the weekend. All right, cheers, bye.